I'm Aaron Coons from Idaho Public Television, standing on the deck of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. You're in the wrong spot. <laughs> all right, very simple rule. All right, we are equipped with full catapult. Hi, I'm Admiral Frank Caldwell, the director of the Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program. I'm a career submariner. I commissioned from the Naval Academy in 1981. I've served nearly 42 years, and today I have the honor of leading the Naval Reactors Organization. Now, our organization is charged with the mission of harnessing the power of the atom to safely, reliably, and affordably deliver nuclear power and nuclear propulsion to the United States Navy. So the mission of the Naval Reactors Facility has changed over time, um, and it originally started off as prototypes, uh, three specific prototypes, uh, S1W, A1W, S5G. And they were really technology demonstrators uh, for both the surface nuclear powered ships and submarine nuclear powered ships. Um, that, uh, the mission of the Naval Reactors Facility then morphed to uh, be training for the sailors and the officers that, that would man those ships. At the prototypes that you mentioned, were the first prototype for the very first nuclear submarine, and then finally, the one that was developed there for aircraft carriers. I grew up in Idaho Falls with all of those sailors, uh, and they, they made a big impact on our community. They were welcomed, they were loved. The people in the community were really proud of the fact that we could be a part of our national defense. I grew up in Blackfoot, and I can remember watching uh, people dressed in Navy uniforms walking up and down the streets of Blackfoot and all that kind of stuff. And as a young kid, I used to tell myself, how can we ever win a war? These guys can't even find the ocean. We didn't know what they did out to the site. But when Ad Admiral Rickover brought uh, uh, the naval reactors to Idaho, uh, it's been a great boom to the state of Idaho and to the Navy. Admiral Rickover was an amazing individual. His story is really incredible and an inspiration. Uh, he believed that nuclear power could offer a warfighting advantage. I would also say he was demanding. When he stood up the nuclear power program, he needed industry to produce components with precision and high quality. At the time, the industry didn't think they could do that. But because of his persistence and demanding nature, he was able to achieve that, and that sets the foundation for everything that we do today. Um, in March 30th of 1953, S1W went to critical for the first time, and believe it or not, that was only 70 years ago. Uh, after some reactor physics testing, uh, the uh, S1W prototype uh, then uh, went uh, to full power operations for 66 hours, and that simulated a submarine going full speed across the Atlantic, and that was a game changer compared to what a diesel submarine could do. And I remember getting up, uh, catching the bus at uh, four in the morning in Idaho Falls is where I had lived. And then the 60 miles out to, to NRF. I think I can draw everything that I learned, you know, almost 35 years ago. Uh, that's how good uh, the training was. And I'm glad that there are people who are protecting this legacy and making sure we keep it for people forever.